Hello everyone, this is Jasmine here, and I am here in front of you guys without any makeup on, and the reason for that is because I'm actually going to be doing my first first impressions video, and today I am going to be reviewing the new Aqua BB Cream from Kiss. So I'm going to be reviewing this new BB cream that I actually found out about through African Export. She actually did a review on it herself and when I found out there was another BB cream for brown girls, I I had to jump on that, alright? So I figure I do a first impressions of this, but before I put it on and everything like that, I'm just going to give you some of the information that I see on the box here. Oh, wow. All right, so this is made in Korea. This is multifunction, it says, 8-in-1. It evens out skin tone, covers and conceals, brightens and nourishes. And there are some other things here that it claims to be really good at, which is um, being good at a base, foundation, concealer, it's a moisturizer, brightening, oil control, skin regeneration, and pore tightening. Alright, I'm going to read the back of this as well. With this multifunctional and high performance beauty balm enriched with powerful brightening and youth infused properties, you will save time with just one easy step. It naturally covers and conceals any imperfections, nourishes the skin with vitamin B and E, and brightens your face by correcting uneven skin tone after continual use. And the directions on here says, use where needed or for all over applications, start in the center of face, blending outward with fingertips. So, I picked this up at my local beauty supply store. As African Exports said, you can find the, you can find this product at any Asian-owned beauty supply store. And sure enough, I did. For all of you guys who live in Brooklyn, if you are interested in this, I picked this up at the beauty supply store near Checkers on the Junction, if you know what I'm talking about. Yes, that one. And I got the color medium dark. Oh, I paid $8.99 for this, and I, the price tag is still on here. And this is 45 grams, 1.54 ounces. I'm really excited to try this out. Now, I still have been using my Iman BB cream, but after it's gone, like, I, I don't really see myself paying $20 for a BB cream. I'm really excited to try this out. So this is the package. Mmm, and it has purple in it. I feel like this is going to be a really, really good BB cream. But well, anyway, uh, I'm just... Whatever. I'm gonna put this on right now. So this is how it looks. Right here. It doesn't really smell like anything on my my hand. Alright, so I'm gonna apply this right now. doesn't really smell like anything. Make sure I get my net too. Alright, so the BB cream doesn't really smell like anything. It feels, it feels good. It doesn't feel greasy at all. And it looks like it covers really well. I quite like it. So far, so good. And it looks like it blended really well into my skin tone. So what I'm actually going to be doing now is putting on the rest of my makeup and I will come right back all right so I am back my makeup is on now I did not set this BB cream because I wanted to see how it would fare on its own but I did apply a little bit of blush and some eye makeup cuz you know I'm actually going to church today so I will definitely follow up after church um, but so far so good I really do like it oh I really do like it oh, oh my gosh mm. 
Oh, and for those of you interested in what I'm wearing on my face, then you can check the description box below for that. And that is it for now. I'm definitely going to check back with you guys in a little bit after church and see how this, how this is working out for me. And just stay tuned for that. Hey. Hey guys, so um, just got out of church. Time now is 11.42. So far so good. Um, I guess I got a little shine here, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll come back to you guys a little later. I'm in my car right now and it's freaking hot. So uh, I'm going to go home and do what I got to do. All right guys, so I am back. Time now is 4.59. And I mean, so far so good. The BB cream has been holding up really well. I forgot to mention this earlier, but this is actually, the BB cream is the only thing that I have on my face for coverage. There's no concealer, there's no setting powder, no nothing like that. This is just straight up BB cream. And so far so good I mean I do have oily spots here and there but you know I just have naturally oily skin I get a lot of oil especially around my t-zone area like right here in the center um, but yeah so far I like it and I'm gonna check back with you in a couple of hours for my final decision all right guys I am back and the time now is 7.01 So, uh, so I'm looking at myself right now and I look, I still look pretty decent. I think this BB cream worked really well for me. I mean, I blotted the oil from my face two times today, but I really do love this product. I think the coverage is very, very good and I, you know, in the morning, I totally forgot to put on concealer under the eyes, but you know what? I'm not even, like, mad about it. I mean, I don't, you know, it, it, it's okay. A little bit of flaws are okay to show, and I, I still like it. I think it looks great on me, and I will definitely be using this. Um, this is, this is great. I wonder if this has SPF. Now, that would be a good question. Does this have SPF? Alright, so the thing I am a little unsure about is whether this product has SPF or not. Um, I actually end up putting uh, a moisturizer on before the BB cream, which had SPF in it. But, yeah, I'm not sure if this has. It doesn't say on here, and I'm looking at the ingredients, and I don't know what I should be looking for. But uh, in any case, I guess it's not a huge deal for me if it doesn't have sunscreen because I have already a moisturizer that does that for me. But that is all for this video. Um, if you guys have tried this new BB cream from Kiss, please let me know in the comments what you think about it. Let me know what good things you like about it, what things that you don't like about it. And yeah, let's just keep this conversation going. I definitely like to hear more from you. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. And if you want more first impression videos from me, you can also leave comments below letting me know what other sorts of products you want me to do first impression reviews on. And I will be sure to get that out to you. And that is all for this video today. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Peace.